Bree here, and today I am creating a light up pool tab card featuring the jackpot set from Pink and Main. And the set comes with all these cute little lottery symbols um, using this um, slot machine. And so I already went ahead and I colored up the slot machine with some Copic markers and I used the coordinating dies to die cut the outline shape and the uh, area where it says jackpot. And I die cut two of the uh, slot machine shapes and I put a little piece of vellum in between that opening and stamped the j word jackpot in black pigment ink. So I created the first panel using uh, the Dotsy stencil and mustard seed distress oxide ink to create a fun little background. The third, the second panel is where we're going to create the circuit and then the third and fourth panel are the red pieces of cardstock and the black pieces of cardstock. So I used a pencil and I already went ahead and traced out the circuit to save a little bit of time. And I'm going to be creating a pool tab um, interactive light up card. So I went ahead and I die cut the little moving slot and the pool tab. So now I'm going to go ahead and lay down my circuit tape where I um, drew the circuit with the positive and the negative tracks. So I sped up the video a little bit just because I'm just following along those pencil lines and I'm first laying down the negative track and I'm going to come back in with my score tool and score press that down so it gets a nice connection with the paper and it smooths it out and it looks a lot better. Um, and then I'm coming back in and finishing off the negative track. So with a pool tab light up card, one of the tracks needs to cross over the pool tab portion before it connects with the lights. And so we're going to do that with the negative track. And then the positive track is just as like a normal circuit um, where it just is going to run between the lights and the battery. And it's nice because the lights are all in a nice little row so it makes the circuit somewhat simplified. So I'm coming back in with a scoring tool one more time uh, just to smooth out that circuit tape. So, as I said, mentioned before, I already have this little die cut pool lever uh, already created, and I'm just trying to feed that through the opening just to show you where that little lever is going to go and how it's going to be covered with the front panel. So now I'm going to use a pencil and I'm going to mark where I want that copper tape to come through because I want the pull lever to be low enough. Um, to show an, a secondary image, but I don't want it to show a gap at the top. So I want to make sure that um, I don't pull the lever too far down to, to uh, activate the light. Sorry, <laughs> to finish my thought. So I'm coming back in, I'm putting copper tape along that pull tab lever, and I'm putting it along the back side of the lever so that it will connect with the tape on the back side of our circuit panel. And now I'm going to feed that through that opening one more time. And as you can see, it's going to connect with the copper tape on the back side and that front on the front there. And now I'm going to use a little circle. Um, I forgot to show the interactive die set that I'm using to uh, die cut all the little pieces needed to make this card. And I'm going to use some liquid adhesive to glue this little circle onto the back little flaps just so that it holds it shut so that the um, pull lever does not fall out. So now I'm going to use some um, removable adhesive and I'm going to tape a little, I, I die cut the pool tab twice but then I took off the um, little flap section because I don't need it for this card because I'm just showing an image, I'm not having an image move up and down. Um, so I went ahead and I used the tape to um, attach it to the, to the other lever and I'm going to lay down uh, the circuit lights now. I'm using white lights for this card. And I'm going to put three across um, where that opening is going to be. And now that I've laid those lights out, I can finish uh, creating the circuit. And I'm going to put some back foam tape onto the back of uh, the circuit panel just to um, add some height for the battery that we're going to add in. And 
and get it lined up so it's right in the center of that red panel and press it down and now I'm going to run the negative uh, circuit underneath where the battery is going to go I'm going to press that down in, and now I'm going to place the or I So I did a little bit of troubleshooting, and I had to come back in and used kind of a rolled up piece of copper tape so I get a better connection between the negative circuit and the battery. And that way the lights shine brightly when the pull tab lever is, is activated. So whenever it's pushed up, it's no longer activated. But when it's pulled down, I'm going to use a pencil to trace where the, the opening where the pull tab lever is activated and where it's no longer activated. Because I want to have a little uh, hidden kind of image where it's activated, but then I have an initial image where it's um, when it kind of sits in a rest position. So now that I have kind of the markings with the pencil, I'm going to use an eraser just so that I have very hidden, a very subtle line to, to kind of go, go with uh, to stamp my images. And now I, I, they're really hard to see, but the, the lines are still there slightly. So it's going to help me position where I want the cherry image. And then I'm going to use the seven image for when the, um, the slots are kind of in the non-winner position. I'm sorry about my head here. I just want to line up those stamps in their correct areas. And now I'm going to change out the stamps and stamp the seven image. And now I'm going to color those with my Copic markers. And I'm using YG05 for the cherry stems. And then I'm using the R20s to color the red sections. I sped up this section just to kind of help the coloring go a little bit faster. Um, I'm going to list all the markers that I used on the blog, so check that out if you want to see what colors I used for the slot machine and for everything else. So now we can go ahead and put this front cover for the pool tab onto the actual pool tab mechanism. And I'm going to use some tear tape to adhere it to the initial pool tab. And we're, that way we're going to be covering up that little, uh, little section of copper tape so it won't be seen through the openings as well. And I'm going to remove the backing paper and then it put the front panel down. So now whenever the uh, cherries are in the opening, the lights are activated. And then the die set also comes with this little kind of sleeve just so it keeps the uh, pull tab kind of in line so that it will pull down straight versus at an angle. So I'm just going to place that and wrap it around the front and adhere the front little uh, flap. So now we can go ahead and attach the last or the top panel. I'm going to put a little bit more foam tape down just to uh, add some dimension around the pull tab lever, just so it's 
not um, blocked in any way. And it can run smoothly. I'm going to trim it up a little bit shorter than um, the pull tab because uh, the front panel is a little bit smaller than the white panel. And then I can place that. So as you can see, the cherries are mostly hidden and the 7 is displayed. But then whenever the cherries are displayed, the lights are activated. And as you can see, I used a pencil to kind of outline where I want the slot machine to go. And then I used some um, tear tape again to adhere that to the front panel. And then when it's three in a row, you get jackpot and the lights light up. So the last step is to trim up the pull, the pull tab and add a little um, kind of indent cater cover to show the recipient to pull down um, the, the pull tab switch and it will activate the lights. And I pull out the pull tab just to make it easier on myself to glue uh, the cover down. And then I can put it back up and show that it hides pretty well, but you can see what to do. And then we are finished. I hope you enjoyed this card tutorial. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. There'll be more details on the Chibitronics blog. Thank you and happy crafting.